Hello and welcome to a map review here and um, we are going to be looking at this map Serenity Valley version 5.0 we're actually looking at version 5.0.3.1 this is the very latest uh, revision of this map um, so let's let's jump straight in and take a look around uh, let's deselect everything and just turn on a couple of things so we want cosplay and we want that and that is all i think for the moment let's start this sucker up so we'll check out the the errors see if we've got any errors on this load so as per usual uh the details for this map will be in the uh, description on the video um this map has a ton of stuff um from what i understand um it is a quite a serious map so it's got quite a lot of things to do um so see okay let's just quickly scroll through these logs and um, have a look at some of the vehicles and any errors i don't see any errors so far no nope, doesn't appear to be any errors from this map so let's get uh Enable our flight mode, tells course play to go and look at all the fields, and here we are loaded in on the farm. So let's just kind of take ourselves and look at the the map in question. So let's pull up oops, wrong thing. Pull up the um, the fields so we have quite a lot here on this on this map uh we have let's see i think 36 fields i think i'm right yep 36 fields um variety of sizes um mostly square um don't really have anything um out of the ordinary in terms of shapes Yep, so nothing really out of the ordinary in shapes. Let's let's look at how many fields we own. So we own field 1, 4, 2, 17, 10, 11, 18, 34, 19, 20, 22, 23, 21, 13, 15, 14, 8, 12, 31. Wow, we do own quite a lot of fields. Um and we kind of own about half the fields so there's a lot of fields that we own um just looking at this it is quite a biggish map um fairly so there's a lot of production on here in terms of fruit we have the standard fruit types plus we have oats rye um try um to kale spelt and millet so we do have multi fruit on here um in terms of just kind of see anything else we missed in terms of fields no nope. so that's pretty much all the fields let's take a look around the map so we have a grand total of 11 sale points we have our usual fruit set, um, sort of sale items, including the multi fruit, but we have some additional stuff here. We've got cheese, we've got milk. Um, I think that's cardboard. Um, sure, what that is. We've got sugar, we've got treacle, we've got various other bits and pieces here as well. Um, it looks like we may have some Savapa Agro mods built into the map by some of these icons. I think they're from the, their stuff uh, let's just look at our animals we have no animals we have two million storage um, so yeah we're good to go let's have a look at our starting equipment 
So we have a one, two, three, four, series seven, Deutschfahr. We have four, series nine, Deutschfahr. We have a couple of front loader and attachments. We have four TX four fifteen barrel cores. We have four CR ten ninety New Holland uh, combines, along with a couple of HS sixteens and a couple and what three forty five foot headers. We also have a Homer Terados T440 uh, along with a HR9 header. We also have a Grimmy Tetron 415 um, potato uh, harvester and one's just obviously the sugar beet harvester. We have a couple of the current Bandit um, 750s. We have some Bandit SB. Um, trailers as well. We have a Horsch Tiger 10 LT cultivator. We have a Pronto 9 DC uh, cedar. We have a new Holland sprayer. We have a couple of weights. We have a Pottinger uh, mower set. So we have the Novacat front mower, the 301 ED, and the back mower set, the X8 ED. We have a hibiscus lily. Um, wind rower. And the wind rower is that the tether? Yeah, that's the wind rower. And we have a Teravasi uh, loader trailer, a forage trailer. We also have um, a big baler 1290 and a bale trailer as well. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a pickup truck, we have an AM19. Animal wagon, we have a timber runner, Flegel timber runner, we have a sample Sampo Rosenlu HR46X and a Pons Buffalo. And we have a Scorpion King. So we have quite a quite a lot of equipment. Uh, quite a lot of starting equipment on this map. So that's pretty good. So let's um take a look around um i don't think we've actually looked at serenity valley before um so let's take a look around so here we are um we are we're going to pull and we have got a little barbecue thing over here we have this is pretty much just the normal farm our chickens are here too um let's close this open this gate and head into the yard so we've got a got our yard here we've got some nice buildings um is that a barn or is that a oh this is our silo i think this is our silo quite nice little silo this is all our starting equipment um, we've got various configurations on our tractors. We've got a double wheel variant there. Uh, are they good wheel weights? No. Uh, we've got a water tank there, I think, as well. What have we got up here? We do have quite a lot of stuff on this farm. So, what else have we got here? We have liquid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. To buy a diesel storage, it's either a storage or a uh, yeah, this is storage. Uh, what do we have in here? If anything, oh, um, there are trucks uh, all set up. Okay, so we've got placed versions of some of the Savapa Agro. Um, storage warehouse mods so this is the sugar mod not sure which one that one is ah that's the treacle um this one is the sugar um i don't think that's got anything in it so we've got a couple of i said we've got some of the savapa agro mods built into the map here um so things are set up 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, is there any the same entrance way? Oh no, that's different storage. That's empty. Uh, we've got a car washing station there, but no washer. If we go around the uh, the yard here, we've got a fuel tank, got a little workshop here. We've got a barn, and uh, again we've got some storage for seeds and fertilizer. That's all at the back of our kind of our big um, silo. Uh, we've got more more vehicles there. Anything in here? Nope, nothing in there. And what else do we have down here? A big, more big sheds. I spy a food mixer around the corner. Ah, there's our um, our root crop. Um, Equipment. And yep, we've got a pig food mixer and we've got a TMR mixer. So this is a um, different style. I uh, can't remember who makes this one, but um, it's a GTX modding one actually. Um, we do have all of the headers are all up on these things. Um, which is kind of cool. It kind of keeps them out of the way. Um, what have we got in here? All our combines are in here, actually. Yep, all our combines are stowed in there. Another little workshop. And then we have um, more sheds. So, and what's this over here? And we've got some tanks over here. I'm not sure what those are for, but uh, it's more more tanks. So, yep, we've got um, that's pretty much all of the, the farmyard covered. Um, so we've taken a good look around there. So let's hop over to the, the sheep pasture and take a look around there. So this is the sheep pasture. We have a bunch of equipment here too. Uh, we've got uh, mower, we've got tractors. We've got the baling equipment. That's all here. Uh, the pigs are also over here too. So we're kind of, everything's kind of clustered. Let's take a look at the Kind of arrangements so we do have no, okay that's animal dialogue that's the sort of pasture that the sheep will kind of live off uh, we have a shed feeding is in here water and f and grass will be put down there and since it's just drive through and then let's have a look at our pigs same sort of arrangement they've got a nice little big building and then they've got the pig sty uh, slightly different setup obviously because pigs have um, different inputs and outputs so they've got the slurry tank over there um, we have the feeding trough there for things where is the water and um, obviously this is the animal um, Load point. Um, oh, and feeds in here. What feed here? Um, oh, there's the manure. Um, so this must be water. Okay, so we have to feed inside the actual pen, which basically means yes, we have to drive through essentially. We have to feed inside. So that is the um, kind of the animal yard. Small gate um, onto the road. Fairly 
tight roads, to be honest. Um, right, let's find our cows. Take a quick look at those guys. So they're over here, slightly uh, it's a way away. So big cow shed has a milk trigger, which is good. Um, oddly, we have fuel tanks. Um, I'm hoping they're not for fuel, but for milk. There's our kind of feeding area. Get a water tank out here as well. Some nice ornate lamps. Uh, it looks like we have to feed in the um, field, by the looks of it. Water and grass. We've got a we've got a little pond in here as well, which is kind of handy. The manure and slurry is also in the field um, on this one, which I'm not saying it's a little awkward, but it is a little awkward. Um, so you drive through some things we don't seem ah we do have a silage clamp here big silage bay um we probably prefer to have a fermenter here um strangely the food mixers are away from the pigs and the animals so you kind of go build it on you're going to make it on the farm and bring it back here um so you do have to kind of bring them over as it were so that is kind of not annoying, but it is a complication. Your mixers are over here, um, and you're going to have to sort of transport them down. Okay, so let's take a look around the map and have a look at some of the, the sites, as it were. We'll start up at 12 o'clock. Um, let's visit the milk factory. So the milk factory looks um, pretty much like the kind of standard dairy. Um, Yep, it looks like a standard dairy. We have a uh, pallet um, low points. This doesn't have, they don't have um, pallet handlers. So effectively, when this produces a pallet of milk, you have to manually lift it and move it off the, uh, the triggers. Um, the milk trigger, I'm looking for that. I think it's around the back. Yep, so the milk trigger is here on the back. Um, it is a little bit tight. This wall basically makes it a little bit tight, but I'm hoping... Ah, yes, we do have a road coming around the back, so we could actually just drop off from here. That is okay. So we do have that complication that basically we do have this issue of um, the milk will basically um, need lifting every time something's produced. Okay, so um, there's nothing around here, but what I will do, I just want to kind of look here because I'm not sure what that's going to be. Um, Ah, there is a storage and a potential sale point, I think. And we've got a little railway station. So we do have a railway line. Uh, okay, so that basically answers that question. Let's, obviously there's nothing really down here other than fields. Um... So let's go to Windy City Grill. So here is Windy City Grill. Uh, they drop, they buy. They buy pallets. They buy palleted products. And they buy wool. Not sure who Windy City Grill are. Um, it sounds like a food establishment but um strangely um is more than that 
Uh, that's a sell point anyway. Jenny's Jungle. Let's take a trip over here. Uh, Jenny's Jungle is essentially the uh, Savapa Agro uh, mods. And we've got uh, the Strawberry. We've got the Raspberry Greenhouse. We have um, the Red Current Greenhouse. We've got Water on site. We've got also got storage for the pair of them as well, for the three of them, sorry. Um, up here, and oh, we've even got a portable little toilet if we need to take a uh, little break. So with this, you need pallets and cardboard boxes as well as manure and water, and they'll produce goods for you. Let's go to Anne-Marie's Bakery, uh, sale point, we buy palleted products. Um, so obviously sells all the products. Um, sure what else they do. Um, right, we want some milk sale trigger around here somewhere. There is a drop off here as well. And I did see a milk sale trigger on the map. Ah, there. And they buy milk too. We buy milk. So that's that. So let's cut over to Fabric City. They buy wool. Um, not sure what else. Have a look around the front just to see what we've got. Um, ah, it's a nice little strip mold type arrangement. Lots of little shops and stuff. Opposite some fields, one of which you own. Right, so which one's that one? Uh, Battle Farms, head to that. Uh, this is a sale point. Looks like a fairly straightforward sale point. Um, then we have board pallet sales. So they buy cardboard, pallets, and lumber, basically. Um, so that's that. What is this over here? I think this is going to be wood. So this is kind of a standard sawmill with a few extra bits. So this, they're buying wood, wood as well. We also have something over here. Um, this is our train. Um, if I can get over it and around it or whatever, um, it would be handy. No, nope, I can't get over it. Oh, hold on, maybe it isn't our train. Maybe it's just some um, trucks. Ah, that, okay. Ah, oh, yes, the train is there. Um, okay, there is a... Right, so we will have to actually jump to that. This is the oil refinery. So this basically is the kind of standard uh, takes rape and actually it's taking grass as well and it will produce digestate fuel and forage so that's basically producing food for cows um, from the um the input and um, this is a if memory serves this is a upk universal process kit um mod and so the triggers here may not work with course play um i've had issues in the past okay pallet factory so this is the savapa agro pallet factory um empty pallet yeah just produces those has the storage here as well on site um oh there's two of them actually so they've actually put two of them down, so that's kind of handy. Uh, what else have we got? So fuel cell points, so we've got a garage here so we can sell some of our diesel. You buy diet biodiesel, so that's kind of handy. Lumber mill, let's take a look at this guy. So what's this guy producing? Well, this guy's producing is producing boards. Give it fuel and logs, and it will give you wood chips and board pallets, basically. 
Again, no pallet handler. I can understand that from the Savapa aggro mods. They don't have them by default because they're actually normally replaceable. Um, this one here um, is quite often a GE um, planted element. And most times I see this, uh, it has a pallet handler. And this time it doesn't. Okay, Homestead Farms next up. Um, rather grubby looking building there. Uh, nice nice deck and swimming pool. We have got a sell point for grain and the like as well as manure. Serenity Valley Railroad. So this looks like a uh, rail only sail point next to a nice little pond. Um, one with. This map does have gold nuggets by the way. Um, if you want to do this single player, you've got that opportunity. Um, some of the trees here, these trees, for instance, I don't think can be killed by a Scorpion King. Uh, they're a manual job, but we do have some trees here um, that you can um, deal with with a Scorpion King. So that's good to see. We will take a look um, from the air as well, just to kind of get a view of the the lay of the land and see what what's what um let's head over to the cardboard factory um nice big sp um, space here and there's a lot of stuff on this lot so this is the cardboard factory from the savapa agro um production chain uh, looks like there's a little bit of um misplacing because there's some gaps there there's water here there's some storage sheds over here we have uh two reduction um mods this one you give it uh fertilizer and water and you'll get liquid fertilizer this one you give it um grain and fertilizer and you'll get seeds we have a silo over here as well by the looks of it and we've got a storage for the cardboard boxes. The other thing we've got here, is we have the Savapa Agro um, dairy. So you drop in um, sugar, pallets, fruit, milk, and cardboard. And around this side, you will have all of your products will be presented. and next stop the williams biogas plant above ground silo king pet hate do not like it um it has interestingly enough what is the oh digestate fuel fertilizer oh so this is a take on stevie's classic bga pro uh, which basically gives you biodiesel, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer. This one is just giving you the solid fertilizer and no liquid fertilizer. We have here, and interestingly enough, no silage clamps, strangely enough, but they've got fermenters. Two of them, in fact. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, first time I've actually seen a BGA that doesn't have the silage clamps but uses these uh, that's using these guys um that is pretty cool has two of them um, i'm not sure what the capacity of these is but um, that's pretty cool saves a lot of space and a lot and obviously we've got a digest date i don't know it's a pretty standard layout for bga um it is literally kind of like the standard layout um, obviously, they've got the horrible above ground silo, silo king, uh, which I hate. Strangely enough, that's going to be a, a little bit of an issue if you think about it with these because you've got to unload those into a trailer and you can't tip into this guy. So, this guy, this guy really should be below ground for this to be working um, in a seamless and, and an efficient manner. 
Okay, let's hit the sugar factory, which is a kind of second to last stop. So this is a Savapa Agro sugar factory, it takes sugar beet. Um, over here, it takes pallets and gives you, and water. Um, I'm trying to think of what crop that is. Millet. Ah. Um, so that's this is a sugar factory. It produces for you bags of sugar, and it also produces you for you treacle, and it also produces um, like a forage type thing, which you can give to your cows. So, uh, Serenity Valley grain looks like a straightforward sale point. Um, drop on stuff off. In the middle here, we have uh, the shop. Kind of standard shop, really. Uh, what's the size of the lot like? Good size lot. Has a gate. And let's go big T agri business. Again, another sale point. Fairly straightforward. Takes slurry as well as grain. Okay. Let's um, kind of take a look from the air uh, before we kind of move on from this map. Have a quick look around from, from essentially upon high. So we have some interesting looking trees. I think they're kind of oak trees almost. They're very big. Okay, so it's a flat map. Serenity Valley. It is surrounded by mountains, but it is a flat map. We have trees around the edges, but the trees around the edges look like uh, deciduous trees, not um, kind of conifers. Um, so they're going to be tricky to cut down. Um, field size, um, the field sizes are good, and there's an okay-ish border to each field. Um, you will probably have to do some headlands on this. Um, we'll take a look at some field sizes shortly. Um, there are some kind of elements where there are um, odd shapes, like this field, for instance. We have over here, just kind of heading towards it, it we have some colorful trees um, over here, which are um, some sort of ones you can cut down. Uh, that is actually a thought. I have not seen uh, our Scorpion King uh, and the like. Our forestry equipment is. It's up here. It is actually on the farmyard in one of the sheds. Okay, so that's there. Um, so we'll have to drive that down. So we do have, I don't see anything extra on the map we, we haven't covered. At least I don't think so. There is something in there that I can't remember. Oh, that is the, the big yard with the thing that is the sale point um homestead farms and they've got um sort of some nice trees to to cut for us but also some of the smaller and more annoying trees we can't actually cut down this one does have quite a big um set of trees um uh, around that um lumber yard um which we can't cut um they would be ones that you would end up cutting manually and dealing with that way there is a good there is a nice little bit of grassland um on this map some in some places there are no sort of grass fields kind of pre-done so we'd have to turn some of these fields into grass um, actually, just thinking about this, are any of them turned into grass in the first place? Um, 34 is. So that's actually kind of a big... And 31 um, are actually kind of big fields. Um, so yeah, so we've got... 
We've got a, it's a good it's a good size map. It's a good it's a good little map. It's got a, a good bit of production on it. Sadly, there isn't that much space for expansion. Um, it is lacking in kind of placeable space. Um, you know, there's no kind of you can't expand. You kind of are stuck with the production on the map. Um, you'd have to give up fields if you wanted to do that. Um, that is a drawback um, of this map. Um, but yes, um, so I'm going to leave kind of a draw with a, a view of the valley, as it were, um, looking off towards the farm. Um, this this was Serenity Valley. Um, it is a map with production possibilities uh, using the mainly the Savapa Agro um, mods which have been placed on the map. They will require you to tend them because they don't use any part handling. Um, you start off with a lot of fields, so there's a lot of farming you can do from day one. Um, the animals are not on the farm, they are just off the farm. Uh, some of the equipment to sort of deal with the animals um, is with the animals, but some of the, uh, the sort of equipment is not, and some of the kind of food production for the animals as well is not with the animals. So you will need to sort of transport to the animals the food. Um, it is, as I say, it is quite a nice looking map. Um, it's a flat map um, with okay-ish roads it has a train network um, the roads are not terribly wide um, what we will do quickly um, and we'll get into one of the vehicles to do so is let's quickly take a look at some field sizes before we finish up um, and quickly sort of do that so field one is 6.1 hectares, field two is, is 4.2, field four is 1.6, field eight is 5.63, field 10 is 5.76, field 11 is 9.0, 12 is 5.5, 13 is 8.2, 14 is 5.78, 15 is 3.2, 16 is 0.7, 17 is 11.0, 18 is 5.4, 19 is 3.79, 20 is 5.86, 21 is 0.88, 22 is 2.12, 23 is 3.72, 31 is 12.58, 35 is 5.15. That's all of the fields you own. Variety of sizes, all in the single digits mainly, uh, not, not that many outside of that. Um, let's just quickly look at the big fields, 30, um, that is a 29 hectare field, uh, 24 is a 18, uh, let's see, 36 is a 13 hectare field, um, the, oh, there's a bush. With fruit on it. Um, yeah, so we've got some good sized fields if you want to expand, um, but your kind of starting fields are all relatively tidy sizes, they're not huge. So, with that, um, we will sort of head back to the farm and visit the chickens. And uh, yep. Yeah. With that, thank you for um, for watching. 
Um, if you found this um, map review useful, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more of our reviews or you want to see our Let's Plays, please subscribe to the channel. And with that, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.